Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the new properties that we've added for the visualization filters. Here's a workbook that I'm working on. Uh, I've got visualization filters for this overlay chart, product subcategory, order priority, and for the scatter chart as well, quantity ordered and discount. So let's go into the authoring experience and I'll show you the new properties we've added for managing uh, the filter uh, label names and also the properties to um, choose multi versus single select for these filter types. For my demo here, I'm going to use this overlay chart, uh, go to the property panel, and then go to this last tab, which is the filter section. And when you open the filter section, you can see that we've added uh, sections for each of the visualization filters that's available on the overlay chart. So let's expand on product subcategory, and I'm going to choose the label to be a custom type. So I want to change this from product cat subcategory to just be product category. And I want this to be a multi-select uh, operation, meaning that my users can enter multiple values. For order priority, I just want to change the label name to be just uh, priority, let's just say. And I want this to be a single select, so I will turn off the multi-select properties. And uh, let's go ahead and save the workbook. Now let's go ahead and preview the workbook as a consumer user. And you can see that the label name for the visualization filters on the overlay chart has been renamed to product category. And this is a multi-select filter, uh, which means that I can select multiple values and uh, the whiz gets rendered based on the values I selected. Order priority is now changed to priority, which by default is uh, set to uh, all the priority values, but I can, uh, because it's a single select filter, I can choose to select a, a specific value at any given point in time. Thank you for watching this video.